hello guys welcome to my channel so today will be finally a video about food i'm so excited to watch it i um don't know much about indian food actually so thank you for requesting me it and so many of you texted about like watch a video about indian meals and i'm like okay uh so you know i'm obsessed with russian cuisine i love all of the meals almost and about indian food what do i know about indian food i know about dosa meal with these sauces i know that indians uh, love um street food a lot uh, i also know that indian food is just so spicy and pre that's pretty much all <laughs> let's see and also best ever food review show yeah right so it's from a channel oh actually it got six million views so it's from a channel that i guess reviewing food in different countries interesting flaky on the outside that is nuts i love the texture already and you're gonna grab some butter yes we'll take some i can't channels. even wait i'm sorry why does it even tell the name of the oh. ah it's just the beginning intro okay Welcome to Amritsar in Punjab. This is North India, just a few miles away from the Pakistani border, home to the great Sikh mm. Golden Temple and tons of world-class you know, food. I also Inclu should like watch a video about North India and South India, but because I still don't know much difference like between this and street food territory. that can be found almost anywhere. This man has a restaurant on his bike. Today we're gonna focus on a classic of Amritsar, chole in all its glorious forms. A locally renowned spiced chickpea curry that grabs your taste buds and never lets go. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Amritsar is best known for its spices. Yes, yeah, spicy from food. Their hand, directly from field to the kitchen. In this town, chickpeas are in fashion. And who better to show me the wild world of chole than fashion blogger Diksha. So he puts on some more butter? It's ghee. Guys, calm down, it's ghee. We'll meet a chef putting his life on the line for our taste buds. Oh, he puts it in my hand? Yes. This guy is insane. I'll be introduced to some never before seen ingredients. I also know that what kind of pickle is, in is that? India, it looks like a little well, chicken egg. And even iconic street food that dates Compared back to the to Hindustan Russia. era, when Pakistan and India were one. Oh, we are going to have bigawa kulcha. The recipe is before the partition of India and Pakistan. Today we're going on a food tour so epic, even paparazzi so can't help but get a peek of the action. Let's chole. I guess only he is a tourist here. Location one is bringing the heat. Perfect for cooking the best bread I've ever laid lips on in India. But first, fashion. As a person of fashion, what do you think about my headband? It's looking good. It's different. Is it something that I you would try? Yeah, I okay, I didn't expect any of that. Aside from fashion, today we are getting into food, especially chole. Chole is a chickpea curry, right? Oh, yeah. curry. This dish curry. is famous all over famous the city. city. Why does Amritsar love chole so much? Because chole are full of spices. Will I be able to handle it, Mr. White Bread here? Yes. It's not just about the chole. You need a multitude of breads to eat it with. It's called kulcha. Kulcha. It's made of white flour. They so serve best bread kulcha. It's very tasty, buttery. Basically, after this location, you can stop watching because we went to the best one first. All right, let's go. Here, the bread making operation is underway. This is the white flour dough, the mega. Then they'll do the stuffing there. The stuffing is of potatoes, I love onions. Eggs and spices. Oh, so this is stuffed. It's not yeah. just bread. This is called kulcha. Bread stuffed with boiled potatoes, onion, grated cauliflower, coriander leaves, and green chilies. Mm. Once stuffed and flung over to the cooking station, this insane man tasty. risks his extremities in order to roast it up in a fiery hot wow. tandoor oven. This is the tandoor this where And inside, such... there is a ton of bread. It is what? insanely hot. Oh, he and puts it in my hand? Yes. This man has no hair on his arm. It is so hot, it's all been burned Dog. I think you should try sticking one of the breads in there. Do you think you can do it? You don't want to burn the hair off your arms? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it, guys. Bam, 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 bam. Yes? Yes. Be careful. No. Be careful. Why are they doing it from there? I got it. I mean, All right, it's pretty they can good. burn their hands. Just do it with some stick. Once the bread is cooked, it no? is slathered in butter. But our meal is still missing the main course. We've got our kulcha, and here is the chole. Chole is made with chickpeas, and then it's all about the spices, including green chilies, chana masala, red chili powder, garam masala, okay, and dried mango Okay, I wouldn't mango try powder. it. Mango is dry, and then food. it's uh, left under sun for some time, then they just make a spice out of it. That sounds good to me. Let's try it out. 
We've got our chole, we've got our chutney, and we need to assemble it. Oh, we put it inside. Yes. This I is hope they will review it. They put a busload of, of butter on it. Totally I would like be really amazed if you can keep your white shirt white the whole day. Do you think you can? Yes, I can. Okay, let's eat. So we're mixing our chutney with the chole. We have to make a little vessel from our bread or in the chole. We have to eat this three more times today. Can you do it? All right, cheers. I mean, she's got used to such meals and she is. Mm. That is unlike any chole I've ever had. Buttery, rich, toasty, flaky bread, and then the masala. It's just kind of gentle. Really good spice. Mmm. <laughs> It is so perfect. This is one of those meals that makes you forget that you're eating Not vegetarian even food. Dollar? I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Good choice. See? What is so cheap there? This next place is like a short order fast food joint. And these guys are fast. And you so gotta be fast be too if you're hoping meal, to get served. This place, place is really competitive. You gotta be quick. If you do manage to make it to the front of the counter, you'll witness pure magic. Do you know what is so special about the chole here? It's all about spicy. So very good chole, good masala. What kind of bread are we getting? We are going to eat mati. What is that? It's something crunchy mm -hmm. and it's fried. So they're making it right down here. He puts it together in about two seconds. Is the crunchy one on the bottom? Yeah. This is called patti mm. and this is the chutney. What is chutney? And, and a lot of onions in there. Oh, milk. same thing. So they put this cracker I'm on the bottom and then they the put on some chutney, a little onion, some chilies, and don't forget the chutney. The Sir, thank you. Let's go eat. So, so we've got our dish right here. I noticed they gave me two chilies, but why don't you have any chilies? I don't like chilies. You don't like spicy food? Oh. Very spicy, I got it. Okay, this is a pickle? Yeah. What kind of pickle is that? It this looks like a little it's chicken egg. It's I mean, she's adorable. What vegetable is it? Of course, she doesn't it? like it's very spicy. Yeah. Great, and here's it's a Google fine. image of that. Me too. Oh, it's very fragrant, very pickly. What kind of crazy vegetable is this? <laughs> Here again, Google Images. So if you didn't see it the first time, that's what we're eating right now. But the pickled oh, version. I've never seen mm. it. Super savory, super heavy. So we're gonna break that crispy shell on the it bottom. It's so Ready? interesting to observe how, Cheers. how he is like trying it for the first time. Mm. That is very rich, very heavy. It's very crispy. It's fried. Right, crispy, fried kind of bread. Would you even call it a cracker, maybe? Cracker. Would you call me a cracker? Thank you so much. He's I'm gonna get another tried. big bite. Here He's we go. His best to make some mm. The cracker is soaking up all that chole. Super savory. It's kind of like making the cracker half crispy, yeah, half soggy crispy on the inside. The onion in there, sauce. very oniony. Is this like kind of a Indian fast food? Basically, it's breakfast for everyone. It's so affordable. The plates come in only ten rupees. I like oh, it. An unexpected affordable. breakfast. It's very energy packed. Here for this. Our next location offers a dish akin to taking a bite of history with a recipe that predates the Hindustan era. We have reached our third destination right behind us. And guys, I hope you're not sick of chole because we're having some more chole. What's so special about this so place? Many we are going to have like the kulcha. It's called drenched kulcha. Oh. Kulcha mm -hmm. with in chani. The recipe is they before have the to try for the of India and Pakistan. So this is very unique. Pakistan and India were one country yeah. called Hindustan. Yes. Is that right? Yes. When did that division happen? Do you know? 1947. Yeah. Should we go try some? Yeah. She knows We're in the line history. here, and I'm not a host. It's I'm just nice. a regular guy in line for food. Hi there. Okay, I don't know how this works. He's wearing completely all white. Like me. Just like you. That confidence <laughs> here. The control and precision to be able to work all exactly. day with these kind of brown sauces and just be flawless like an angel. It's amazing. Do they have just one thing on the menu here? No, they have like matthi chane also. Mm. Which one are we getting? We are getting bigger one. Oh, this one. Okay, so he puts the bread inside this same. huge bowl it's of chickpeas, puts the bread back onto a plate, more chole on top, then onion, a chili, a pickle, and what is that sauce? Chutney. Oh, meals. that is heavy. Okay, next it's time really I will up that search sauce. for another video. Here it is. Bhiga hua kulcha. Drenched kulcha. Oh, I, I like mean, that. Yeah, and it is wet. It is heavy. This like, thing is massive, as in it has a lot of mass. Do you like eating with your hands or not? Spoon, no? You prefer so. a spoon. Me too. I got a tiny bite right here, and I like to just get a little Next bit of a taste. Next time, I'll observe completely different meals. <laughs> My audience from loves India. a guy who takes big bites. I like food. Ready? Ow. But I mean, how could I know before watching? Mmm. It's a nice bread. The last place was very crispy. This was kind of doughy. Mm. And it has no ghee in it. Can I request ghee? 
<laughs> okay. The masala, it tastes a bit similar to the last one. But the kulcha is different. Right. We're not shooting the same thing twice in a row. We're shooting it four times in a row, not twice. I want to see how big of a bite you can take. We all know that you are amazing at taking really small bites. Is that... My audience is He's feeling heartbroken and disappointed. Like they really appreciate a big bite. That's pretty big. Can you do it and save your lipstick too? Okay, and go for it. Shows. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I just noticed. Boom. She wears lipstick and still somehow... Indian cooking styles evolve. are just as versatile as the food itself. From street side stalls to mobile bicycle restaurants. And this man is delivering a tour de France of flavor. We're at our final Chole destination. Bicycle what dishes restaurant. is he serving here? He's serving bun chane. I've it's an never seen such Bun thing. is like a hamburger Ever. bun. Yeah. Bun and anywhere. Chane is inside. Oh. That's called school. Bun chole. That's easy to remember. So How do you order it? Do bun chane the do bhaiya. Bun chane. Here's the bun. Here's the chane or chole. Put it together and you've got... Kind of like oh, a bun. So he puts on some butter. Ghee. It's ghee. Guys, calm down. It's ghee. So inside here, I see bean and I see potato. It's a boiled chane. Yeah. He put in some potatoes, onions, salt, and onions. And this is a chutney. What kind of chutney? Himli, yeah. Is he going to kind of mash that up? He's going to mix it. Oh. Turn the buns, and then he's got this nice little machine here for squeezing in some fresh citrus. Now he's stuffing the hamburger bun with the chole. Thank you, sir. You know what it looks like when they add onions? So we have Fresh our onions. Indian burger here. I'm going to show you, Kai, right here. Like I mean, onions. would you take a look at the beauty that is all that stuffing in here, crispy on the outside, toasted in that ghee. I'm so pumped. Like We're going to try it out. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go for it. Mmm, a lot of flavor. That is super salty. Maybe a little too salty for me, oh. but I really like the big chunks of onion in there. Like and it's a little crunchy. Potato. And the potato, too. What kind of people are eating here? Normally, the college girls. Just anybody who wants a cheap treat. 14 cents only. And I do like the bread. It's very nice on there. It's very convenient. You could drive to school while eating this. Who's going to shoot then? That's a good point. Right. I love Kirby Kenji here. With how satiating, filling, and just plain satisfying all this food is, it's hard for a meat lover like me to believe all we ate today was pure vegetarian. Yeah, right. If you have a chance, don't miss the tandoori kulcha with about food. half a stick of butter. Taste-wise, it's like looking into the eyes of God. Wow, what a treat getting to tour all this chole with you. Want to do a shirt check? Ta-da! Stain free. That's pretty good. You made it through four locations of this soupy brown food and ended up clean on the other side. If you want to check out more about Diksha, she is on Instagram right here. Thank you so much for joining okay, me today. Okay. And for Okay, okay. It's just... Uh, just him promoting his another videos and her. So, uh, so uh, just read in the comments. With her glance, I felt she's... Puncha Pocha, oh, okay, I don't know it. Uh, very amazing Punjabi street food, mouth watering. Mm, yeah, I'm um, just the thought that of Indian food makes my mouth water. Yeah, okay, India is a vegetarian's dream vacation. Yeah, it's true, you know what I've noticed? Uh, that all of these meals were vegetarian and it's nice, and they were adding beans everywhere. Like, how can you make yourself full and not hungry without meat? Uh, you better eat some beans, so yeah, it's nice, and potatoes too, and uh, bread, so yeah, they're just making all of it. Uh, but I didn't like that they add onions everywhere, and this food is too spicy for me, for sure. But I would try some, and I would say like, uh, don't add a lot of spices there, please, and no onions for me. So next time, I promise you, I will choose another video, or you can recommend me a video about Indian food. Uh, so yeah, like different kinds of food, different types of meals, and yeah, with different types of uh, groceries and so on. So yeah, uh, I just want to see this kind of video next time. If you can help me with it, I will be glad. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I was really enjoying watching it because I'm obsessed with food. I'm a food lover. Uh, so yeah, uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.